extraordinary what I've seen happens uh, in a community, whether it's in a conversation on the telephone interviewing someone or whether it's in my own community, whether we're where we've come together in a writing circle. I also have a writing circle in my community. And I've got to tell you, the writing that comes out of that circle because of the depth, because of the connection, because of the trust in one another and in being, um, being for the brilliance of one another. You know, um, and this happens all the time in, my com in, in, in this community that we're all a part of is, you know, people are honoring one another. They're supporting one another. You know, if you're doing something, people are, are ready um, to help you out and, and they see what's brilliant about you and they let you know. Imagine the world if instead of going around with a critical eye, we went around with a creative eye and we started seeing how things come alive and we start seeing how wonderfully creative everyone is. It would just be so such a totally different world. So if, I, I think that from that perspective, yes, I do see myself um, as a global changer for this shift from critical eye to creative eye, uh, critical essence to creative essence. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's that's beautiful, <laughs> and it, it seems to be that the um, that's an essential skill really for anybody, whether we're working as a coach, or a facilitator, or a business leader, or whatever, is to be able to see uh, the potential, the um, uh, the essence, the the greatness of, of others, you know, that, that is, that's a key to success, isn't it, for everybody, and the success then kind of multiplies out exponentially. It's not just, that we, you know, success for me, it's, it's more about success for us. Well, and, and you know what it is too? Yeah, and that's a consequence, but the truth of the matter is that we already are that, um, and, and the I had already done a lot of personal development. I've been on a spiritual path for a really long time. I mean, I've been doing yoga since I was nine years old out of a book. So I was open. This, this, this awareness, I came in with this. I, I, this is something that called to me. I mean, I was doing pranayama out of a book when I was a kid. Um, but this, this, this notion, I, I remember, you know, in my childhood, it wasn't easy. There were a lot of things that went on in my childhood that weren't easy. And I remember inside of me, there was this voice that said, Adela, it doesn't have to be this way. Um, and so that, that lives inside each one of us. We already are that. I think the exploration is more to embody on, a, on, a, on as much as possible in an every moment basis uh, this concept that you're already talking about, which is, you know, problem versus potential. And, you know, in the, in the coaching world, you, you really play with potential a lot. And I must say, um, the folks who really helped me land this awareness in my body and in my world and make it a living thing um, were my wonderful colleagues, um, Solera Green, uh, Jane McAllister Dukes, and Santari Green from the, uh, the Visionary Network in the UK. Uh, they do some extraordinary trainings. I trained with them. I became a trainer. I traveled with them all over the world. I got to live the experience of this evolutionary being, of being an alivening force, of living life as every problem has a spark of potential. Every, everything that shows up is to, to grab your attention and awareness, to move you into more. And then you moving into more, the world around you moves into more because you change everything around you. You impact things around you. You know, most of us don't really realize the impact that we have just with our own energy. You know, when we walk into the room, I know, and you know, that there are certain people that you come into their presence and their energy just opens you up. Imagine if we all walked around like that. If we all, if we all knew ourselves to be that. You know, it's like that Marianne Williamson quote, um, <laughs> you know, that really points to greatness. You know, like, who are you not to, to open to this glory and this wonder that you already are? Um, and I, I think that that is that the beautiful juicy possibility that's here for us now with technologies like this uh, rose and uh, the the internet as as a medium of connection and communication that so quickly we can experience and share our experiences and and change transformation evolution happens mm -hmm. instantly mm -hmm. instantly yeah I, I absolutely agree with with, with you uh, uh, about the internet and how that's really opened things up and it's it enables I mean with with the um, 
communities I've been in with you, you know, people from all over the place just connecting on a real um, heart and soul level and then doing that in my own work as well. I mean, that's, it's bringing people together and I, I've heard so many people um, uh, talking about um, how they felt isolated in the past and at this point I need to welcome the blog TV listeners and others who have joined us for the call so they don't feel isolated and left out. So. Welcome all those who just joined us. <laughs> um, well, but yeah, it seems to me that you know, just very, uh, very recently, and um, maybe since the beginning of this year, there's been an, almost like a, a people just coming out of the, coming out of the woodwork in their droves. You know, all of us, a lot of us, maybe been hiding out or isolated, and then we're suddenly coming out and we're connecting, and. Um, it's that the connecting up, and that's how I see my work in a whole world, a whole new world, is to help to connect up all those little lights into one big light, you know, and that the more of us are connected up, the bigger the light we shine and the bigger the energy we put out and we become invincible. <laughs> that's how I see it. That's, uh, so I think that's what you're saying too, is that we're already magnificent. When we join together, we just create this powerful energy field, which it, it immediately changes the world, immediately changes consciousness all over. So I think that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> that's absolutely what we're doing right now. And and you know the power of that. You know that someone who uh, is critical can, can change the energy of a whole group. And someone who is open and expressive and creative can...